Well, hello everyone, good afternoon. My name is Jane Gordon, and I am the author of The Journey of Max and Midnight, and I've come today um, to read you my book. Um, I live in North Olmsted, Ohio, with my two sons, Matthew and Alan Gordon, and we were inspired to write this book because we have been rescuing dogs for many years. We are animal lovers, and we wanted to write a book about our last two boys, Max and Midnight, and share that with everyone. Um, I have been a lubrication engineer working in the oil industry for 32 years, and I'm also a mental health counselor, and I work with children uh, part-time. I will be retiring in July, and I will be writing more books. I believe very much in books, and I feel that it is a great opportunity for children to have children's books. And so with that, I would like to share with you um, The Journey of Max and Midnight. And lastly, the illustrations have been done by my son, Matthew M. Gordon, and also independent watercolor artists. So thank you. This is the book, The Journey of Max and Midnight. The Journey of Max and Midnight by Jane E. Gordon. The reflections of this book. With my two sons, we decided to write an illustrated children's book about our two forever dogs that came to us in December 2016. And the illustrations are by Matthew M. Gordon. All right. So once upon a time, there lived two little dogs, Max and Midnight. They were very close friends in a friendly dog shelter where dogs who have been lost get to stay. Now Max was a fox terrier mix and Midnight was a chihuahua mix. They stayed as roommates for a couple of months at the shelter and were very fond of each other. One day, a family came to the dog shelter looking to adopt a dog. <clears throat> the family had a mom and two sons, and they had just recently lost their dog of many years to heart failure. They were sad and wanted to adopt another dog to join their family. The family arrived at the shelter and they were met by a man who, walked, who worked there and welcomed the boys and asked them to come in and have a seat in the waiting room. The mom and the boys sat and waited, and then the man brought in a white dog named Snow. She was afraid of the boys. The mom said, I think we need to look at some other dogs. So the man went out and brought in two other little dogs. One of the dogs was all black with big brown eyes and his name was Midnight. The other was fluffy and white and black and his name was Max. Max was very shy. Midnight was friendly, appeared to be a playful little guy and ran right over to one of the sons named Matthew. Matthew scooped him up in his arms and they became great friends right at the start. Max was running around the room and seemed happy, but still very cautious and shy. He wanted a treat, so the man brought out some dog treats, and then Max warmed up a little to the mom and came close to her side. She patted him, and he snuggled a little closer. Max needed to be loved. Max was just very cautious of new people. The family wanted to adopt the two dogs, so they decided to wait a week and go get two travel cases, two crates, and some blankets, and prepare to come back and adopt these two sweet dogs. The arrangements were made, and the family would be happy again when the two new baby dogs would join their home. Chapter 2, Coming Home. 
December 6, 2016 finally arrived, the day that the boys and their mom went to pick up Max and Midnight at the shelter. It was the time to take their new pets home to their forever home. These two little ones were so excited and happy to see the boys and their mom. Everyone at the shelter said goodbye to Max and Midnight and told the family to spoil the dogs. They needed to be loved. The days turned into weeks. The two little dogs had found their forever home. The first Christmas was coming quickly. The Gordons had a tree and stockings to hang, two for the little ones, Max and Midnight. Matthew and Alan were excited to decorate the tree while Max and Midnight watched with so much fun in their eyes. They ran chasing each other around the house while the music played in the background. At night, the family watched movies, and the two little dogs would climb up and sit on Mom's lap and on the lap of Matthew. Alan played games with the dogs, the dog toys, and Alan walked Max and Midnight often with Mom. And there they are with their harnesses. They were happy to have found a safe, warm, loving home. Alan loved the dog kisses. He held Max tight and snuggled with him often. Max and Midnight were so excited to have a new dog to have new dog treats and toys on Christmas morning. The big boys opened their gifts and the family celebrated with joy. So chapter three, the move. After living with the family for two years, the Gordons moved from Florida, where it was very warm, to Ohio. Max and Midnight were to discover a big change. They would enjoy cooler temperatures and learn about the four seasons and see something called snow. Max had plenty of fur, so he adapted better to the cold temperatures and wintry nights while on their walks with Mama than Midnight did. Mom bought them two new red sweaters to wear in the cold. They loved their new sweaters and new harnesses. Mom and the boys walked the two little dogs once or twice per day. Getting exercise is very important in a dog's life as well as in the human's lives. It's their sweaters. Chapter four, life in Ohio. The two little ones, that is the name mom called them, were happy in North Olmsted, Ohio. They had a fantastic dog door and a new vinyl fence to their fun yard so that they could go out and come into the new home any time they wanted to. No accidents from Max and Midnight they were potty trained and walked on their leashes with mom and the boys like big dogs. They loved their new family and their new home. Mom took them to the park often to walk and they loved taking rides in the car with the family. There they are. The time went on and the boys grew up and the little ones got older too, but they remained a forever home. They were the Gordons, an animal-loving family. So if you are thinking about getting a dog, consider a safe, loving rescue. Research on pet finders. They will offer to you names of rescues in your area. Go there and talk with the people and visit with the dogs and you will find your new loving pet you will save a life and they will save yours. Dogs and cats that are rescued bring love into a human's heart that was missing. The end.
thank you for coming. I really appreciate it.